Welcome back to Harry's Big Shed. Last episode, we started pulling the front of this C3500 apart. Um, my plan is to get engine and transmission out. I really want to go through the whole thing. We're almost there. Uh, I got the four bolts to undo on the transmission cross member and then it should all be able to come out. I think I've got everything disconnected. Um, if this is your first time here, feel free to hit the subscribe button. If it's not your first time here, hit the subscribe button. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna bring the crane over, get it uh, holding the engine, I'll get a jack underneath the uh, transmission itself, undo those bolts and pull it all out. So let's see how we go. We have a major snag. So basically, because this has been converted, the steering shaft, the steering column, is going between the turbo and the actual dump pipe. So it's gonna to wanna to come around the column. So I think I've gotta pull the pipe off the back of the turbo before we can go any further. And I've got a leak. Fantastic. out that was a mission and a half uh, valuable lessons learned um, because it's been converted I've had to pull the turbo and the dump pipe off um, because the chassis comes in like that you've got to remove the crossover pipe even if your truck's still left-hand drive if you're watching from the states you'd be going why would you have the steering wheel on the other side but that's the law here in the good old land of Oz.
Alrighty, so I've got as far as I was prepared to go working on the floor. I've got the flywheel and the torque converter off. I've got all the ancillaries off with the exception of the water pump. I've got to grab my uh, engine stand, so now it's just that little bit easier. It's gonna be that little bit easier to work on. I'll be able to flip the motor over. Uh, and I'm just gonna keep on pulling bits and pieces off. Um, trying to work our way methodically down to the, the actual block and then we'll take the heads off. So I'm starting, this is an extra fuel filter we've put on. While I'm doing this, let me say, I am really concerned about what we're gonna find when we open this engine up because I must say that um, turning it over when I was turning it over to undo the the torque converter um, it seemed to have really low compression so it was just far too easy to turn over and I think you may be able to see uh, that's part of the head gasket sticking out of the block so at some point that's just gone bang right out of the block so as I say so far it's not telling a good story but we're gonna persevere until we know exactly what we're dealing with so that's off that end that's going to the original fuel filter. There. Comes off there. It's still got some fuel in it. Fantastic. Whoop. Are still full of fuel. All right, I'll be back. This is the factory fuel filter. Obviously, the lines run under the injection lines, and I'm going to have to go and empty this out as well. Yeah, I uh, just went to confirm, because I wasn't sure, I thought maybe these could be a reverse thread, it should be a standard thread, but it's really tight. Um, I am not beaten yet. change the timing of these pumps you've got a little bit of play with them uh, to change the sort of like a, a distributor on a um, petrol car um, what I'm going to do is take the line off there so yeah sort of like a petrol or if you're watching in the States, a gas car. And as soon as I've got this injector pump off, I'm putting my tools away because I'm tripping over all the crap I've had to pull out to get this far. And I think it's just gonna make my life easier to start again.
Better put a mark in before it seems to be someone's already had a crack at timing this by the look of it. There's all sorts of marks here. I better make one that I know is my mark. That's my mark, basically the center line with the nut on the top. Ha! Okay, there we go. Ugh, pump is off. Now, obviously, I'm going to pull the PFD off the side here. There's no point. This has this had two other PMDs in it. Both of them seem to be wired up. Don't know how it was working. Um, but yeah, there's just no point in leaving that there. May as well keep it as a spare for whatever reason. Apparently, these things have a habit of just getting hot and dying. Um, but yes, I now have a very pretty injector pump crab. There we go. Don't ask me why I don't wear gloves. I bought gloves, I don't know, a while ago, and I just keep forgetting to put them on before I start. I end up just getting filled. Alrighty, well, that's where I'm going to leave it for today. Uh, it's getting a bit on in the afternoon and I've got to get home. Uh, there are things I've got to do, other places I need to be. Um, I think we've made some really good progress here. So next step is going to be to remove the rockers, the push rods, um, and then pull the heads off. Um, I think... I've got in my head how I'm going to make sure everything goes back where it came from. Um, but yeah, I think that's where we're going to leave this one. So again, thank you all very much for watching. If you've got any questions, if you think I've left something out, let me know in the comments. I do try and get back to everyone. Um, it just takes me a while sometimes because I forget to check my YouTube comments from time to time. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching Harry's Big Shed and we will see you next time I'm here.